What's up, IHS? I'm... Well, you know who I am. I'm the host with the most, the big boat himself, Teddy the Love Boat Tugboat Galante. <laughs> and I'm Hannah Barden. So, uh, can you guess where I went to school? Uh, uh, well, it looks like Arizona State, perhaps? Well, I didn't go to Arizona State, but this is a nice shirt. Now mm. let's get on to some news. <laughs> this week was Teachers Appreciation Week across the United States. Today is the last day to thank a teacher for everything they do for us students. To honor your teachers, make sure to donate as much money as you can, but if you can't, thank as many of your teachers as you can. But don't forget about the teachers, aides, assistants, and everyone who helps make our education a reality. Breaking news, Governor Cuomo has just granted Mr. Steve Weisberg of Ithaca High School the Empire State Excellence in Teaching Award. The stipend is for $5,000 for continued learning and professional endeavors. Congrats to Mr. Weisberg. Governor Andrew Cuomo arrived at the Ithaca Tompkins Regional Airport last Thursday to announce a new plan for a $22 million expansion. There will be a 5,000 square foot federal customs facility that would receive international flights. Along with international flights, the airport will add six new gates, receive security upgrades, three new boarding bridges, a 4,000 square foot dining area, and a new welcome sign. I like planes. I like airports. But I also like sports, and we're going to turn to Mike and Zuki with this week's edition of MN Sports. Hi, Chess. I'm Zuki Wagner. And I'm Michael Gualtieri. We have a special senior night episode on MN Sports. So let's get right into this week's highlights. Well, Michael, this week we saw Little Red's lacrosse team display strong camaraderie as they joined together with their seniors to celebrate the senior night against Elmira. Elmira dominated the first quarter scoring three goals, but by the second and third quarter, Little Red's groove kicked back in and they were able to pass Elmira's lead and maintain a strong defense with scoring goals and they won the game overall. Mm -hmm. It was really great to see the family and friends of the seniors come together to watch the unique bond that Little Red has as a team and it was just amazing to watch that and to see them celebrate the seniors as you know it goes into one of their final games of the season. Absolutely. Now I pass it to Michael with the Unified Basketball Game highlights. Well, thank you, Zuki. As mentioned in the last episode that we covered here on MN Sports, the Unified Basketball team's first home game was against the Wego. We saw many points scored by both teams, but Little Red was able to push through and come out on top. We spoke to two of those players on the team and the coach regarding their own personal performance and the team's overall performance, and this is what they had to say. IHS, I'm Zuki Wagner here covering the Special Olympics and the game just finished and I'm here with Pop Jane Cruz, the coach of the Little Red team. So overall, how do you feel about the team's performance? I felt really good. I think, I mean, Pop was out there, he scored 14 points, Jaden was flying around, Nick Fenton had a few, you know, big rebounds and Cherise played crazy good defense and, and you know, we had some, some really awesome, some awesome team basketball. And we played really good defense in the second half, and so that's what changed the game. How do you feel about your own personal performance today? Um, I think I did really good. I could do a little bit more better for the layup, and I could even, you still need a little bit more practice, you know what I mean? Uh, good. I think I did pretty well. So what do you think that, uh, any strategies for you to work on to improve your play? Um, start sharing the ball. Well, Pop, great job out there. Scored a lot of points for your team, and you guys did well. Thanks for coming on the show. Well, IHS, that's all we have for this week. Thanks for watching. See you next time on MN Sports. Got you. Thanks, Mike and Zuki. Tickets for Junior Prom come on sale next week for $20 on Wednesday and $25 on Thursday and Friday. Make sure to grab a dance contract from the main office if you haven't already this year. Junior Prom will be held at the Johnson Art Museum from 7 to 10 p.m. on Saturday the 19th. Boy, $20 for a ticket. You know, <laughs> back in my day, when I got a ticket to prom, I got stood up. Ooh. <laughs> well, that's all for this week, Not IHS. Yet. See you next week. No, instead of waiting on a good day. <laughs> Big goof. Around, Big goof. Yeah. Down, it's a good time. Happens. Yeah. No horror story for prom, but yeah, I would say that's about it. Well, I mean, that's that, right. is, that is an unfortunate It story. is Jewish year. <laughs>